When it is the peak of the harvest season, there's no better place to be than the Susquehanna Valley because we have fresh produce everywhere. And so we're celebrating that right now with one of the best selling soups at the Farm Show Food Court, the chicken corn soup from the Pennsylvania Vegetable Growers. I called over to them, got the recipe, and I'm sharing it now with you. So we have a big pot here that is heating up. We're gonna put our olive oil inside just to get that going. Now we're gonna add the vegetables, and it's very simple. We have some chopped onions, chopped celery, and grated carrots, and they're gonna all go into the pot here. I use the vegetables in the pot first because I want them to cook a little bit, get tender, and to sweat out a bit before we add any of the other ingredients. So in go the carrots, and this is gonna sit for a few minutes. So while the vegetables are cooking, it's time to get our chicken ready. And since the farm show is about celebrating Pennsylvania products, that's what we're doing too. We are using Bell and Evans chicken from Fredericksburg, Lebanon County. You can use any kind of cut of chicken for the soup, whether it be thighs or breasts or maybe a combination. We have some boneless chicken thighs that we have cut and cubed and have ready to go for our pot. So once the vegetables are tender, as they are now, we're going to be adding our chicken right to the pot and we're going to let them cook just a little bit until they get browned. So the chicken has browned and you'll notice we put a lot of water into the pot here, about 12 cups of water. You can do a combination of water and chicken broth or water and bouillon cubes, uh, whatever you happen to have. Now it's time for the best part for the chicken corn soup. It's the corn. This is corn I actually got at a local produce stand at the end of the fall when it was still fresh. I boiled it, stripped it, and then froze it. So I have a lot of this corn ready for the rest of the winter when it's not in season. So I'm going to add this uh, to our soup, just like that. Then we're gonna add some uncooked egg noodles as well, as many as you would like. And then for some added richness, of course, we have a little bit of butter. You can skip this step if you'd like, but it does add a nice richness. And then we're going to let that continue and finish cooking. And there you go. The soup is finished when the egg noodles soften up and you have your finished product right here, your chicken corn soup. It's really good, especially for the winter, which is probably why it is on the food court menu year after year and they sell it by the gallon.